Virginia Beach now, where it was a busy overnight for firefighters. Yeah, the fact that the temperatures stayed warm all night, that didn't help either. The first left more than 30 people without a home. This happened just before midnight. The Indian Lakes Apartments on Mays Drive. Several units were destroyed here. Penny, your side's Asia Tolliver has the latest for us tonight. Fire officials say the flame spread quickly here at Indian Lakes Apartments, and that's because there's no firewalls in this old building. Residents I spoke with say they feel lucky to be alive. Flames destroyed this row of apartments here at Indian Lakes Apartments at 1130 last night. Luckily, no one was hurt, but no firewalls allowed the flames to jump to other units very quickly. The fire quickly extended into the attic structure, and once it got into the attic, there really was nothing to keep the fire from spreading all the way down the building. 22 adults and nine children were displaced. 16 apartments have damage. People who saw the fire say it all started at this middle townhouse. Officials believe the cause is accidental, but are still investigating. It is pretty difficult and it's shocking and I'm still taking it in that we lost all of our stuff and we have to start all over. We just moved in a month ago. Adriana Ivy lived in this end apartment. She says the smell of smoke woke her and her husband. So they grabbed their two year old son and ran downstairs. Ivy says it was at that point her smoke alarm went off and they jetted across the street. My son's room is right next to the, the apartment next to us, which is pretty much gone if you look at it. And so if we didn't get him in time, I don't I don't know if it could have rushed into his room and it could have been very bad. It's super scary. Fire spokesperson Art Khan says it could have been much worse, but maintenance had just made their rounds last month. We might possibly be talking about a fatality here tonight had it not been for the fact that the building was equipped with working smoke alarms. In fact, I spoke to one of the building maintenance supervisors earlier who told me that just last month they had done their routine maintenance overhauls on the smoke alarms. That proved to be a very good thing. Ivy is staying at her cousin's house for now. She is hoping to get help to be put in a hotel from the Red Cross. Fire officials say that this entire building is a complete loss. In Virginia Beach, I'm Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.